thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on some of my favorite body butters. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So before we get started, let me get a little housekeeping out of the way. If you aren't following me on IG, go over and check me out. Over there, I do lots of content that I don't necessarily post on YouTube. So if you do drop by, say hello. I'd love to see you there. So I've got all of my lotions and potions and things right here and the way that I think that I'm gonna do this video because in my opinion I kind of have quite a few to get through I'm just going to go through each one quickly tell what I like about it and on the screen I'm gonna talk about what ingredients are in it and what it does for the skin and things like that so anyway with all that being said I got some here and most of them are just really good for hydration so I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with this Elizabeth R white tea pure indulgence body cream comes in a jar like this I'm not sure how long this has been around but this one is a very nice cream I would say that if you're a type of person and it does come with the cover <clears throat> Cause I have seen some body butters out there that don't come with the cover and I'm like Ugh. but anyway this one it's really nice. It is very fast absorbing and it has a very light, mild scent, like super mild. And I have a nose like a wolf. And if I think it's mild, you probably won't even be able to smell it. But this one has a lot of good ingredients. It does a good job of leaving your skin very hydrated. This is one um, that you could wear in the daytime because it is so fast absorbing into the skin. You know how so when you put on some uh, lotions or body butters, you know you still can feel it um, and that's not a bad thing you know you just can uh, still feel it because of how thick and emollient it is but this is a really nice one and I do like it All right, so the next one that I want to talk about is by Sephora it comes in a jar like this for those of you all who are familiar with my channel you know I talk about my daughter a lot this is one of her favorites this one is really good I would say for dry skin and this one 93% of the ingredients come from natural origins which is super good and the thing that I like uh, about the Sephora line is that it's all affordable and so far everything that I've tried from that line has been really nice um, again if you can see how much of that is gone you know we both enjoy it it's really good so if you got dry skin excellent for that um, the next one that I have is one that's super duper affordable. This is the Advanced Clinicals Hyaluronic Acid Cream. And I did a little video on this on TikTok. I think I posted it on TikTok. But this particular line has one for collagen, retinol, and hyaluronic acid. And I think that it has another one. I want to say it's on the tip of my tongue but there's some others that it has out there and this one is super afford affordable you get a good jar a big jar I think and this one is like five dollars and 89 cents and as you all know hyaluronic acid holds a thousand times worth its weight in water this will be a good one like right after you get out of the shower and your skin is damp apply this one actually all of these that's really how I would recommend that you apply it apply it to your skin when your skin is damp that way it will help with transepidermal water loss so you know that's just something to consider but this one's super nice and it's super affordable I would say like with this one it's really weird because you only need a little bit of it if you like let's say go down on the whole pump you you'll be wiping and the lotion forever but this one is super nice super affordable so the next one that I want to talk about is by Necessaire and I got this from and I got this one from Sephora and this one has a lot of multivitamins in it and it's really good for the skin I use this sparingly because it is on the pricier side I just feel like when I get body butters and lotions and things like that in this type of packaging um, I just don't I like to use experiment, especially if it is on the pricier side. But it's got some good ingredients in it. It's fragrance free. 
and overall it's really good if you want to splurge i would say to get this one because this one is let's see this one is 6.6 .6 ounces um, in comparison to uh 13 is that 13 i think this is 13 ounces i don't have on my glasses and of course you get way more in here so so yeah if you're kind of like me and you are a body butter lotions potions type of collector i would say to check this one out okay so the next one i want to talk about is by cat berkey and this is a body butter now this is another one if you're into luxury products i would say that this one is a really nice one this one is super ooh, this one comes with a cap it ought to as much as it costs so it comes with the cap and it's super, super thick. So what's good, what I do like about this company is that all of their ingredients that they put in here are cold pressed, which means that whatever it is that the ingredient is offering, you're going to get more of it because it's cold pressed as opposed to heat. And you all know, anytime you heat something, you lose more of the vitamins or nutrients and things like that. Same for, just for example, just think of it like this. Uh, broccoli you know you can eat broccoli raw but if you cook it the longer that you cook it the more of the nutrient nutrients are going to be lost from it so you know when I make it I'll steam it just a little bit you know just a little bit and then I'll serve it you know to my family like that just to be able to get the most nutrients out of it so I guess that's the way that I I would explain that but all of their ingredients are cold pressed and this is nice it's very luxurious this is another one that i just use sparingly because of the price all right so the next one is the kills soy milk and honey whipped body butter comes in a package like this this one is super nice it's got lots of good ingredients in it so this one says that it's fast absorbing I have used other body butters that are a little bit more fast absorbing than this one I do like it it is very rich and thick this one would be a really good one to use in the nighttime because it's so thick and rich yeah you could use it in the day plus when you apply it um, you know how some lotions when you apply it you can still see it your body's still kind of shiny or greasy not necessarily greasy but you know what I'm talking about. Looks super, super hydrated. That's the way this one is uh, gonna look. But yeah, I love this one for the nighttime and I absolutely love all of the good ingredients that it has in it. And the next one that I wanna talk about, this one probably has to be my favorite. This is the Clarins Moisture Rich Body Lotion. This one has shea butter in it as well. And I feel as though, as far as hydration, this one, next to this one you know this would be a luxury one or high-end and this one would consider i would consider to be affordable i think that these two would go neck and neck this one is excellent at hydrating your skin and keeping it there so let's say you put on your lotion and in the morning and you're just going about your day or around the house or whatever a couple of hours later you're still going to feel moisturized i have used lotions and things like that before and seriously right after I put it on my hands are still dry I don't know what that's about <laughs> but anyway this is probably uh, one of my favorites in my collection this is another one where I use it sparingly because you know it's not all that cheap but love 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 this one and then the last two that I want to talk about, um, I just actually finished this one. These are by Ritual. So this one is the Holy Lotus and Organic White Tea. That's the scent. And this one is the Rice Milk and Cherry Blossom. Um, and these are the Ritual, let's see, Rituals of, okay, this one is Ritual of Sakura. And this one is Ritual of Karma. Um, both of them are by Rituals and these um, body butters are super, super thick. I think that these are affordable. You can also get them at Macy's. They're really, really nice and they always come, I just finished this one, so this one is empty. But um, they always, to me, they always come in that nice packaging. This is like, I'm sure it's not wood, but it looks like wood. And this one right here, as you can see, is super thick. It's like probably one of the thicker ones. Uh, probably just as thick as this kill but these are going to be the type of body butters that you want to get if you like a little bit of scent not a lot of scent but if you you know like scent i think that they do provide you know moisture and hydration but as far as the long run you know keeping you there or keeping your body there uh i wouldn't do 
think so. This one would, I would, this one is more so as like a pamper day. You know, when you want to pamper yourself and you use all of the um, skincare or body care or things like that that have a nice scent. You got the candles going in your bathroom and you take a long uh, bath and then you get out and then you could apply one of these, you know, for the night or whatever. But anyway, that's just kind of how I use it. But those are nice. So that is pretty much it. I hope that me talking and telling you all about these products to help some of you all out there. Let me know what body butters and lotions and potions that you all think. I would love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.